I'm surprised they haven't called it the undocumented virus yet. Here's what they said. It is clear that authorities in Wuhan, town of 11 million where the disease originally broke out, kept denying that human-to-human transition was happening even after 793 people, including 419 medical staff, had become affected. Infected, rather. And the World Health Organization kept echoing the same talking points the Chinese government was putting out. The doctor who raised the alarm, tried to warn his colleagues, was booked for severely disturbing the social order and put under house arrest. He died last month from the virus. Scientists who proved that this was a new and serious disease were forced to destroy their samples and were branded as rumor mongers. If researchers in other countries had been allowed access to those supplies, writes this article, we might be closer to a cure or to a vaccine by now. All of this allowed the disease to spread freely for almost two months in China and beyond. Had the Chinese authorities been open even three weeks earlier, a study by UK's University of Southampton assessed the number of coronavirus cases could have been reduced by 95%. And the world may well have been spared a pandemic. This is why we've got the situation. And people are blaming Trump. Speaking of whom, here's a recent update. This is a very vital 30 days. We're sort of putting it all on the line, this 30 days. So important because we have to get back. But the more we dedicate ourselves today, the more quickly we will emerge on the other side of the crisis. And that's the time we're waiting for. The more we commit ourselves now, the sooner we can win the fight and return to our lives. And they will be great lives, maybe better than ever.